looks like we're live. Let me see. Da, 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 da. One second here, boo. One second, one second. All right, here we go. Now we're live. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Sweet. All right. As always, just give me a second. Got to cue some stuff up right here. All right, awesome. Let me see. Bam, boom, ba boom, boom. All right, cool. What's going on, everybody? Happy Friday, Friday. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed your week thus far. Hope it has been productive on many levels, mentally, physically, financially. Hopefully, you guys are having an awesome week. I know I'm having a good week here, and I hope you guys are having a good week too. So, this has What's transpired, what I've seen uh, really this week, and I'd say over the last few weeks is kind of like an ongoing trend slash mindset frame of mind type of thing. Something that I want to talk to you guys about today and share my thoughts on that and make sure that you guys are staying focused on the things that you need to stay focused on, which is for your online business, the right mindset. Okay. That's one of the most important things. And that is going to kind of stem heavily into what I'm going to talk about. So having the right mindset and making sure that you're driving traffic consistently and you are focused on your conversions consistently. Because realistically, at the end of the day, and you guys have heard me say this time and time and time again, I will continue to say it time and time and time again, is that an online business, three things, traffic, conversion, mindset. That's it. You have traffic going to your offer. You convert that offer into somebody that buys your product or service or joins you in business. That's it. That's, that's an online business. Driving traffic to your offer, converting that traffic into a business builder or a customer. That's it. And number three, having the right mindset. Having the right mindset. Making your decision, deciding why do I want to build an online business? Not for my family, but maybe for yours. But this is why I want to build an online business. This right here. Because I want to make sure that my family, my son, my wife, me, never, ever have to worry about money again. That's why I do what I do. Okay. So I'm just banging stuff around here. I got my water bottle. Anyway. Anyway. So... I want to show you guys, I, I want to physically show you something in one of my back offices of why staying the course is very, very, very important, especially with, you know, one of the things that our team right now is, is focused on, which is Funnel X ROI, uh, multiple income streams, help building your now lifestyle business, helping in, in many, many other things, but help creating you know, more overall income. So why sponsor somebody in, into just one business when you can sponsor them into five different income opportunities? So let me show you something. Okay, let me, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, this isn't gonna happen. All right, I got my dog in the room with me and I'm trying to shoot a video, trying to, trying to do a Facebook Live here and she's over like chewing on this antler bone and it's making all kinds of noises throwing me off throwing me off so anyway anyway um yeah just is saying uh, know your why knowing your why is uber important so i want to show you something and this is i had mentioned staying the course and this goes out to everybody that is you know, we'll come on board with, it doesn't matter what opportunity we're talking about here, whether it be funnel XROI, whether it be now lifestyle, whether it be, you know, your mom's secret sauce, like whatever it is, does it doesn't matter. Whatever biz op that you join that you're, that you signed up for too many people get distracted by whatever it is, life, money, time, any, you know, insert your excuse here, any opportunity to give up, throw in the towel, and I'll, I'll, I'll throw out there my favorite quote, which again, I've said time and time again, if you want to do something, you'll find a way. If you don't, you'll find an excuse. Oh, I don't have enough money. I don't have enough time. It doesn't work. I'm not good with computers. Whatever your bullshit excuses, just if you don't want to do something, you'll find a way. You'll figure out how to make an excuse as to why it doesn't work. But if you have your why, 
and you know why you want to do something, you know why you want to create a specific lifestyle, you know what type of money you want to make, you know what type of results you want to bring into your life. If you know that and you decide that and you commit to that, there ain't an excuse out there that's going to stop you, period. There isn't, there's no excuse out there that is going to stop you or get in your way, period. So anyway, I want to show you something very, very important when it comes to tracking, okay? Tracking your results. And I've done many other videos on tracking. Um, you can look them up here on this community or if you're on my YouTube channel, you can, you know, uh, so make sure that, uh, by the way, if you're watching this on YouTube for the first time, you know, do me a favor, click the subscribe link below. Um, also, this Facebook Live right here is in our, our My Six, Six Figure Business page community on Facebook. We give out lots of value, do trainings all the time. Uh, we do live Q&As, all that sort of good stuff. So again, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, below this video right here, you'll see a link. You can join our Facebook community. It's free. Um, we have really super awesome, cool people in here that are like on live with us right now watching these things like... And I, I would think that you guys watching this are, are pretty awesome because you're here, you know, you're part of this community. So give yourself, give yourself a shout out for being here on this Friday and checking this out. Anyway, I'm trailing, trailing. So anyway, tracking, right? Why is tracking important? Because it, plain and simple, it lets you know what's going on in your business. If you're not tracking, uh, you know, your traffic, if you're not tracking your links, if you're not tracking your business, I mean, like no joke, you're, you're literally just throwing money away. If you're not tracking, you're literally throwing money away. But tracking is only part of what I want to talk to you about today. Okay. It's a, literally, that's just part. What I really want to focus on, what I really want to talk to you guys about is time and patience. Those are the two main things that this, what we're talking about today is all about. Obviously, yes, having your why, making your decision, deciding that I'm going to go for this, I'm going to do with this, I'm not going to let any BS excuse get in my way. That's a big part of this. But once you make that decision, once you say, I'm going to go for this, and I know why I'm going to do it, once you decide these things, it all comes down to time. Staying consistent over a period of time. That's it, staying consistent over a period of time. So let me show you some, something right here. Kind of tongue-tied today, I don't know why. All right, so this is click magic. And yes, okay, plain and simple, thousand percent. I understand that uh, for those of you guys I mentioned, you know, Funnel X ROI, if you're using Funnel X ROI, there is a new tracking system inside called ROI panel. And, you know, don't get me wrong, uh, I have that too. Uh, by the way, it, it pays very, very well. Uh, you know, $3,200 in the last five days. So do the math. I don't know. Someone bust out a calculator and do the math. $3,200 in five days. That's, it works pretty good. Just, just saying. But yes, we can, the, the same principles apply to what I'm going to show you right now. The same principles apply to ROI panel, to click magic, to whatever. But again, oops, my bad. Wrong click magic. Um, I'm not specifically talking about tracking. What I want to talk to you about is, yes, obviously the importance of tracking for what I'm about to show you, for what I'm about to show you. So you can see right here with emails, okay? Emails right here. I have a tracking link that I use when I send out an email, all right? As in, I'll show you guys a, a crystal clear example as to what I'm talking about. So anytime I go and I send out a broadcast email, all right, anytime I send out a broadcast email, I'm literally going to copy my link, just like that. I'm going to come into my autoresponder. I'm gonna send a broadcast. Let's say I'm gonna write, I'm gonna write an email today. Today is the 26th, all right? I'm gonna write an email today and I'm gonna say, okay, click my super wicked awesome link. And for anybody that doesn't know, that is Boston slang right there. For those of you guys in New England, that is Boston slang. Except it, if you really said it, it would come out like, yo, guy, pick, click my super wicked awesome link, guy. That's what's up. Go park my car. Go park my car in the yard down at Fenway Park. But we don't, you know, anyway, I digress. I, I really try to avoid the Boston accent. I do, even though I'm from Boston. I love Boston. I love to, you know, love New England. But. Anyway, so click my super 
wicked awesome link guy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my I'm going to take my link that I just copied from Click Magic, the one that's that I'm using for my broadcast emails. I'm going to add the extra tag in there, which again we've talked about this in other videos. I don't need to explain the whole thing right now. So uh, email and let's say that today's the 26th, right? So I'm going to send this email out today, 1026. So that's my code. That's my tag. I know that this email is going out today, right? This is all for example of again what I'm about to show you. What I'm about to show you. Very, very important stuff here. So any, anyway, anytime somebody, let's say this email goes out, it gets sent out, all right? Now, anytime someone reads this email and they click this link right here, you know, click my super wicked awesome link guy. Anytime someone clicks that link, I'm going to know that it was from this email that went out today on the 26th. Fair enough, just exactly what I just showed you. So now, so now I can come back to my emails, right? So we can see that for all the emails that I've sent out, I've had 574 unique clicks on all these emails. But the important thing here, the important piece, hang on, my dog is being very annoying. literally throwing me off my game today now she's on the floor over there scratching away at the at the carpet and just being a pain in the butt making a lot of noise guys this is this is life when you work from home this is life this is the stuff that you have to deal with so anyway anyway so as you can see since i started tracking all my stuff i have tracking links for many different things but specifically i have one for emails which is the one i just showed you okay you'll notice that right here under s S stands for sale. S stands for sale. Okay. So I've had 11 sales from just the emails that I've sent out alone. So just think, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Just think for one second. Send emails, make money. The only reason I know that, the only reason I know that is because I'm tracking the links in my emails. Send emails, make money. That's a really cool concept, don't you think? It's a pretty cool concept. So are you, a couple questions for you, are you broadcast, are you sending broadcast emails? If you are, great, thumbs up. Are you sending broadcast emails daily? If you are, two thumbs up, okay? So let me go back to screen share, and this is where it starts to get good. But also, this is what I wanted to talk to you about today. And I know it's, it, I'm taking several minutes to get here, but I promise you, I promise you it's worth it. It's worth it, all right? So yes, John Smith says, awesome concept. It is, it's, it's a really cool concept. Send emails, make money. I like it, I like it a lot. So now check this out. So you got your email link, I'm sending stuff out. And I'm gonna click on sales. Now you can click on this little number. I've had 11 sales that have been derived from the emails that I've sent, okay? So I click on this and it's gonna tell me that I've sent out, all right? I've sent out however many emails that I've sent out and I've made $353 just by sending emails. You guys, you guys see the effing power in that? I've sent out emails and I've made $353.06 just by sending emails. Now here comes the very, 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 very important part. It's gonna sum up everything I've just talked about in regards to time, consistency, making your decision, taking action, staying consistent with it, all that good stuff. So check this out. Now, when you click on the sales, you can see obviously how much in profit, the average customer value, um, all that good stuff. Total of 18 sales, total of 18 sales from sending out, you know, probably two to three weeks worth of emails. It's pretty cool. All right, now, this is what I want to really show you guys, okay? This is why this is important. 
as you can see, remember how I tracked my stuff over here? Okay, I put email 1026 in this link. So every single email that I send out has that same tracking. So look at this, look at this. Email 1018, email 1018. So in other words, that email was sent out roughly a week ago, roughly a week ago, and then check this out, three days later, three days later, after the email was sent, somebody decided to make a purchase. That, my friends, is very, very, very important. Why? Because, and this is where, this is why staying the course, the title of this, this broadcast here, this is why staying the course is very, very important because a lot of people make the mistake and think that they sign up for a business opportunity, they run traffic, they're going to be instantly rich. Wrong. You have to stay consistent over a period of time. How much time? It's totally up to you. All right. But realize that not everybody makes a buying decision the first time they see something. Okay. The first time you saw a car, did you buy it that day, the very first day? Or did you maybe do a little research on it? Think about your phone. The first day you saw that phone, did you go buy it or maybe do a little research on it? The first time you bought a watch, a piece of clothing, something for your kid, um, a cooking appliance, anything. Did you buy it the very first time that you saw it? Or did you maybe go back to it a second time, maybe a third time, maybe a fourth time, maybe a 10th time? I don't know. But when it comes to joining a business, on average, on average, it takes seven to 10 exposures for the average person to make a buying decision. That is very important to know. Okay. So that means that people that got an email on the 18th did not make a buying decision until three days later. So for those of you that run traffic and then throw up your hands and go, I ran traffic and I never got a sale. Big freaking deal. Be consistent. Consistently run traffic. Consistently send out broadcast emails. Consistently brand yourself properly. Consistently do things that will add up over time, like you're stacking little bricks and building your business, starting with the foundation and you're just piling up the bricks and you're just making a beautiful foundation for a very long lasting business. Got it? So you gotta realize, okay, here, you know, here's another one, all right? Email 1020, this email went out on the 20th. Two days later, somebody made a buying decision. Two days after the email was sent, all right? So this means that not everybody's going to buy the first day that you send an email. Not everybody's going to buy the first day that you run traffic. Most of your sales, 90 plus percent of all of your sales are going to come from the follow-up. I'll say that again and let that sink in. Over 90% of your sales are going to come from follow-up. So don't expect that every time you run traffic, you're going to get all these sales. You might get a lot of signups. You might get a lot of opt-ins, which is all good things, but you may not get a lot of sales. You might not get any sales. I've run a shat ton of traffic and not gotten sales, but do I, do I give up? Do I quit? No, keep going. Time and consistency, time and consistency, time and consistency. What are the reasons why, what are some of the reasons why I get the sales that I do? What are some reasons why I make the income that I make? Because I am very damn consistent. That's why. You know, I don't do, you know, I drive more traffic than the average person. I'm probably more consistent than the average person. So don't be average. Don't be typical. Do above average things, get above average results. All right. Here's another one. Email sent 10, 11. Okay. Sent on the 11th. Here's the sale on the 24th, 11 days later. 
11 days after the email was sent. Do you guys like understand the importance of follow-up here? Do you understand that? Okay. Scroll down again. Email 1015 pick. Yes. When I put the link in my email, I coded the picture. You guys, you guys see the importance of tracking? Let's go back to tracking what I was just talking about. Understand the importance of, yes, I know that the email that I sent out on the 15th of this month, somebody not only clicked on that, but they clicked specifically on the picture in my email. And I also know that 11 days later, 11 days later, that email generated a sale. So just think for a moment, think about your consistency. Think about the time that you're willing to put into it to get these results. Some of these sales, 10 days later, 11 days later, 14 days later, do you have the patience, okay? Do you have the patience to wait for your business to grow? That's it. You have to ask yourself that every day. Do you have the patience to wait for your business to grow? Will you put in the time, effort, and energy and consistency that it takes to start generating consistent sales? That's the name of the game, folks. That's how you win with this business. Tracking your stuff, uber important, but what's more important is having the right mindset to keep going, having the right mindset to keep going, you know, and just shout out and, and to some of the people that are here in this community that are uber consistent, that have made that decision. Okay. The folks like Sean Mullen, David Haynes, Nicole D'Angelo, and just many, 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 many others that made the decision to stay consistent and just keep going to keep pushing and driving and figuring it out as they go. So guys, that's it, man. Tracking your stuff, very, very, very important because it's going to, just like I showed you, it's going to let you know that the results are coming in, but it also, guys, bigger picture, bigger picture than the track, than the tracking is you now understand, you now understand that it takes time and consistency for these results to roll in. Time and consistency. Send out your broadcast emails daily. Have traffic flowing in daily. Just be consistent with your follow-up. And, and said it so many times. Consistent action equals consistent results. Will those results come overnight? Probably not. Will they come right out of the traffic run, your very first traffic run, or even your second or third or 10th or 20th? I don't know. But stay consistent, stay the course, be in it to win it, and you will get results. And the more consistent you are, and the longer you're in this, the better results you're going to get, period. All right. So hopefully, yeah, and John says, you know, that's how I finally made money consistently. So you got to be in it to win it, man. You got to be in it to win it. Time and consistency. That's how you will win. So don't expect amazing results by one traffic run. Can it happen? Sure. Can you win the lottery? Sure. But this is not a lottery. This is your business. Treat it like a business and it will pay you like a business. End of story. All right. So that's just it, guys. I hope you guys got some value out of this. If you did, please throw some uh, some, hearts, some hearts and likes and loves and let me know uh, that you got some value out of this. You picked up a, a golden nugget or 16 or, or whatever it is. And uh, if you're watching the replay of this, catching this on YouTube, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button below. Also, again, if you're watching this on YouTube, below this video is a link that you guys can join our Facebook group. Please get in our Facebook group. Come check us out. Be part of this super awesome, amazing community where we like to teach, train, coach, educate you, and give you guys the tools that you need to win and have a successful business online. So without uh, further ado, I will uh, catch you guys on the next live video. And as always, I will see you guys on the leaderboard. Have a good day.